In this 9 minute video you will learn how to get small files when rendering in After Effects. Hello and welcome to the last episode of the first season of the After Effects series. I'm really uh, happy for what we did. I hope that you have learned something because, well, I did learn a lot um, through these days. So, well, we are ending it for now. I just um, finished my internship. I'm going to start working on a few projects I have. And we'll see if uh, we can get back in the near future, maybe with more episodes, uh, maybe with a second season for this series, or even do a different kind of series. Maybe uh, teach you a little bit of web programming with Polymer or Firebase or both. Uh, we'll see how it goes. So at this point of my life, I am free to pursue my dreams and stuff like that. So this is the time to do it. Okay, so well, with that said, for this episode, we are going to see a little bit of rendering stuff. So let's see how it goes. Well, now that we are in After Effects and that we have our product, our things ready, uh, what we have to do is, of course, we are going to add this to the render cube. So, well, one shortcut that we could use is just Control M, or just come here and just click on position, add to render cube. And well, we're going to get um, this thing here. And well, I created a template, um, so I just have this usual render in here. Um, what I usually do is that I go here, click the output module, I select QuickTime, then I select and format options, just the H264 uh, video codec, we hit OK, then we just hit OK again, and we render that out. That was the way I was taught in college, and that was the way I was doing things until now but uh, there was you know kind of trouble sometimes because the colors uh, were a, a little bit washed out or they didn't they didn't look really well uh, when I was uploading those videos to YouTube so I decided to just take a look at some other options so one other option that we have is that we don't have to render um, this inside After Effects. We can use the Adobe Media Encoder queue, which is a software by Adobe, which is just for that, for rendering. So we can add that and we can get um, our, our, just our composition here. And the settings that I have been using for this set of tutorials have been this. Um, we are going to select here the H264 option and then uh, by default you're going to get here in the preset the mesh source high bitrate but it has a bunch of problems um, as I have seen here uh, the colors are really weird they are too vibrant and they are really different from the final product which is this. So. Well, what I discovered was that, okay, I'm going to upload this to YouTube, okay? So we can navigate, uh, we can scroll down or we can navigate to the top using the keyboard. Uh, so we just get to the bottom of the list and we can select YouTube 1080p HD. With these settings, uh, we can hit here, just start queue. And we're going to get a video, which is really good looking. It's small because we get this file with this 39 second video uh, in 25, no, 21 megabytes uh, opposed to the original uh, 58 megabytes from the QuickTime H264 file. 
that we get using the After Effects uh, render cube. And this is what I've been doing. Um, I've been using this preset here because I'm uploading to YouTube. What I've been using uh, for the past few episodes is this uh, software, which is called Handbrake. It's free software. It, it allows you to re-encode the videos so they, their file size is really, really small and you aren't losing uh, too much quality. It really, to me, it isn't very noticeable and well, I let you see it yourself. So for example, this is the video that we have uh, that we exported from Media Encoder and this is the one that we get from uh, Handbrake. So, well, for these kind of graphics, it you really don't see a difference since they are just plain colors and stuff. Um, I don't know if you can spot more differences, maybe more grainy look or, or something like that for uh, you know live action videos, but for this is really good. And we're going from this file, which uh, which size is twenty one megabytes, to this one, which is two point seventy five megabytes. And it is the, exactly the same size. So that way I can upload the videos and it's a lot faster. And people aren't really going to notice anyway because, well, YouTube is, YouTube is going to compress the videos even more. So, well, I think this is the perfect thing to do. So what we have to do is, yeah, you are going here. You just drag uh, the file that you want to encode. You are going to select maybe this preset from fast 1080p 30 frames or if you want something more just to preserve more uh, quality well just like this high quality or super hq and you hit render i mean start encode uh well sorry about that i can encode the same with the same name of course well but you get the point you're just going to let that encode and you're going to get this file which is really, really small. And that way you can upload it to YouTube and you're gonna get um, your uploads in no time. So, well, that's it for today and for this season. Um, I hope that you guys learned uh, a bunch of things. I mean, maybe one or two, I, I don't know. Uh, if you learned something, just, uh, I will be, I'm happy. If you learned something, just, I'm, I'm really, really happy uh, because that's the whole idea of these tutorials. I'm not making any money out of this. I mean, not yet. Uh, what uh, I don't think. I, I mean, I have made like two dollars from this series. So this is not a way to earn money and you know become rich and all that. This is just a way to um, share my knowledge with you which might not be a lot. I mean, I might not be an expert or, you know, I'm just self-taught and I have learned a bunch of things here and there and I see some stuff at college, but at the end, it's what you learn yourself and with the help of, of others like me who are sharing what they learned. So this is an invitation also to, if you are watching this and you know how to do stuff, and you want to share that, then do it. Then do it because that is the greatest part of this. So thank you, thank you all. And well, I think that's it by now. Um, if you have any ideas for, you know, for the second season or for another kind of series or whatever, just let me know. Let me know so I can just get start. I don't know, just to start working on that. So well, that's it for now. Uh, thank you again, and I see you guys someday soon, I hope. So, bye-bye.